So my first year at the Swifts was amazing. It was everything I could have hoped for and more. I think the transition from Adelaide to here has just been seamless. Now year two, I feel like a veteran. I think a lot of the girls last year were new, so the fact that now I've been here for two years makes me one of the kind of regulars in the team. And a big win there for Maddie Proud. Maddie Proud off the court. Well, if you ask somebody else, they'd probably say that I'm a bit crazy. I'm a bit loud. I like to have a lot of fun. Um, I am at the moment going to uni, so I'm doing a master's in creative writing. Travelling something that I guess my family as well has really, um, you know, ignited in me when I was younger. I think I was about six, my older brother was eight and my younger brother was four. So we went around for six weeks travelling through Europe in a camper van, which looking back, I don't know how my parents did that. I like watching a lot of TV, Netflix, all that sort of stuff. And then also got a little side project called Net Chicks and Chill with Sophie Garman as well. Yep. So me and Sophie hang out a lot. She obviously being from Perth is away from all of her family and quite far away. So, you know, we get up to a lot of trouble on the weekends and all. I won't say that. That's <laughs> good. Cut that. Cut that. <laughs> no, but yeah, so I hang out with Sophie a lot and also Helen and Sam as well. So they only live down the street from us. So we're always kind of doing something, going out for dinners or going out for breakfast, brunch, something along those lines. As everyone probably knows, because everyone says I always say it, I've written a book. It was actually in 2013 when I'd just been um, in Glasgow for the World Youth Cup. I played in the Australian Under-21s team and I came back to Adelaide and um, didn't have a job and netball was over for the year and I started writing this story about Grace Parker and the Linwood Lions and sort of started writing and couldn't really stop. And then mum one day came up to me and was like, what are you doing on your laptop all these times? And you know, I was ducking away to my room to write and she kind of was the one that suggested, why don't you try and get it published? So Grace on the Court is the story of Grace Parker. Um, she's a 13-year-old girl just starting high school um, and it follows the journey of her and her friends and her teammates as they kind of go through that transition of primary school to high school. And even growing up, I sort of noticed that there wasn't really much out there for girls, particularly about netball. There were a few sort of dancing ones and things like that. I thought, God, why don't I write something that I'd actually like to read? Most of the, my teammates have read my book. Um, I'm still getting a few of them to make sure they do it. But yeah, I think um, Maddie Turner was one of the first ones to read it. She's now actually helps me edit the second one as well. So um, yeah, it's almost, it's very daunting actually when other people read it because it's kind of like they're seeing a little part of yourself because it's all come from my brain. But no, all the girls have been really supportive and yeah, I'm hoping that they told me they liked it. So I hope they're not lying. <laughs>